You're descending toward the land when something outside your plane window catches your eye. A car, blazing down the road, moving faster than your plane. That's when you know you're in Germany, soaring over the Autobahn, the legendary highway where speed has no limits. For car lovers, it's the ultimate driving experience. But how did this high-speed marvel come to be? Why is it like any other road in the world? I convinced you to build the road so you can buy my car and drive on that road. That's a weird way of looking at it's it. A, but it's Isn't a way, it it's, it's full cost accounting. It's full cost accounting. What is the cost of coal? Oh, wait a minute, I convinced you to build the road. That's even better. Oh my gosh, I made it a national priority. Oh, it's a security problem. We need a, we need a military design interstate system. That's what the interstate is military. That's why it goes through mountains instead of over them. That's why there are long stretches of straightaway, so you can land an airplane on it. That's why they're built above the road. That's why the surface roads are not the same thing as highways, because the highways are not on the surface. Why? Because they're built up. Why? Because tanks can drive on them without decomposing the road. What specs did we put this to? To the Autobahn. The Germans invented the modern highway system. They invented the cloverleaf. They invented the off-ramps. They invented all of that. And their armies could move on their roads like it was nobody's business. And Eisenhower said, hey, we, I'll get me some of that. He comes, uh, that's probably not how he said it, I'm guessing, but he comes out, convinces us all that we need to build an interstate. I got nothing against the interstate system. I'm just giving you the foundational facts for it. Is it just a playground for German automakers like Audi, BMW, and Porsche? Or is there a deeper story beneath the asphalt? Let's find out. What is the Autobahn? And I, th I remember hearing about it growing up that it was this big, dangerous highway. Mm -hmm. People would have actually travel to Germany to be able to drive on the Autobahn, especially if you've got a nice car and mm -hmm. you want to take it for a rip. That's what I remember hearing about. But that's all I that's really cool. know. I don't know about like the construction of it and how long it is and how many accidents there are and how dangerous it is. But the full name is the Bundesautobahn, meaning federal highway sprawling 8,000 mile network of limited access freeways crisscrossing Germany. It resembles interstates in the US, with entry and exit ramps, divided lanes and zero stoplights. But unlike most highways, the Autobahn is world famous for one feature, no general speed limit on about 60% of its routes. While the idea of a national highway predates the 20th century, the Autobahn saw its first major expansion during Adolf Hitler's reign. Ironically, it wasn't created for Germans to drive fast, most citizens didn't even own cars. Instead, the Autobahn was served as a propaganda tool, showcasing Germany's technological prowess. By the end of World War II, only about 25 miles had been built. The real transformation happened post-war, when West Germany became an economic powerhouse and car ownership soared. Germany's post-war government made a bold decision, abolish all speed limits in 1952. Their reasoning? Driving fast symbolized freedom. But that freedom wasn't limitless. Speed regulations crept back in over the years. Still a kind of a myth that you can, you can go on German autobahns as fast as you want, which is actually not true. Speed limits became more. I used to drive 220, 240 sometimes, or this wonderful car, you know, you don't feel the speed. You, know? you, you can go on 200, you still feel it like 120. Well, we <laughs> might experience that soon enough. Today, about 40% of the Autobahn is speed limits, often dynamic, adjusting based on the weather or traffic. Elsewhere, the recommended speed limit is 130 km per hour, but if you crash while exceeding that, you can be held liable, even if you weren't at fault. Many imagine the Autobahn as a limitless raceway, but reality is different. If you picture open roads and supercars blasting at 200 miles per hour, you might be disappointed. <laughs> German drivers are disciplined and rules are strict. The left lane is strictly for passing. Tailgating comes with heavy fines and trucks are often limited to 80 km per hour. That means even in unrestricted zones, high speeds aren't always possible. Traffic, trucks and weather dictate the pace.
That being said, when conditions are perfect, the Autobahn can be breathtaking. One driver described the thrill of reaching 270 miles per hour in a BMW Alpina B7. The car felt stable, the road was smooth, and everything around was a blur. Another driver, less lucky, recounted accidentally speeding past four towns before realizing how fast they were going. But the question is, what is the science of high-speed driving? Driving at autobahn speed is nothing like video games. Everything from aerodynamics to road design plays a role. German automakers engineer cars with autobahn speeds in mind, tuning everything, suspension, tires, brakes, to handle high speeds with stability. Mercedes-Benz even integrates crosswind assistance, preventing sudden gusts from knocking cars off course. Meanwhile, road maintenance is meticulous. Autobahn pavement is smoother and more durable than standard highways, using special drainage techniques to prevent water buildup and reduce spray. That's why, even in heavy rain, you won't see massive water splashes. Why can't the rest of the world, especially the US, have an autobahn? At first glance, the US seems like a perfect candidate for an autobahn-like system. Wide open spaces, a car-loving culture. So why don't American highways look like Germany's? Number one, driving standards are lower. In Germany, getting a driver's license is a grueling and expensive process. You need professional instruction, rigorous testing, and multiple driving exams. The price? Somewhere between 2,500 and 3,500 euros, or about 2,700 to 3,800 dollars. By contrast, a California's driver's license costs 45 dollars and tests are relatively easy. Number two, car safety standards vary. Every car on the autobahn must pass TUV inspections, rigorous tests ensuring the vehicle meets strict safety standards. In contrast, US states have looser vehicle inspections, meaning many American cars wouldn't qualify for the autobahn speeds. Number three, road maintenance costs are high. The autobahn is meticulously maintained with five times the budget of regular German roads. In contrast, many American highways are riddled with potholes. If a Detroit-sized pothole appeared on the autobahn,